hello beautiful people uh, happy saturday like share and subscribe um so guys i want to bring you this very funny news i saw and to me it's just i don't know the same thing people were doing on that buhari i didn't know that the uh, uneducated illiterates could also embark on such madness so let me give you uh a brief history of what is happening you know i'm supposed to show you the live stream but i'm afraid this mentally deranged uh, youth copper my report it you know and when they report it it's going to be copyright uh so a cop member and his name is abel tado nathaniel uh, has embarked on the trek from ore odibo local government area of ondo state uh to abuja to deliver a message to uh bola metinibo uh so basically uh what he wrote on his facebook page before he embarked on the journey and the theories he said is embarking on the journey he said uh, first of all, uh, is to confirm that um, he's, he wants to confirm the trekking theory. Uh, that's his first reason. The second is a form of adventure to him. And third is to seek an audience with the commander-in-chief, which is uh, Bola Ahmed Tif Nubu. And, um, you know, so basically that's it. So let me just give you. So while he was now trekking to, when he got to Abuja, I think in Kubwa, so he was accosted by a military guy and a, youth, a, a, a person working in NYC. I don't know how they managed to find him. And then they harassed him and took his phone. Anyway, let me just tell you my mind on this whole issue. I just feel the copper has mental health issue. Because there is nothing that will make you trek from Ondo, say you're going to Abuja just to see the president. Are you that bored? And if this guy was rich, let's say he's comfortable. I'm not talking of rich now. Let's say he's comfortable, he has three square meal and everything. Um, I don't think there's a problem with it. You need to watch the live stream. If you go to Sahara Reporters, you will see the yesterday, I think. Go to Sahara Reporters, you will see the live stream he was doing. See his cap is already torn. To show you that he's mentally deranged. The same thing during Buhari, people were drinking gutter water in the north. Some of them had cholera. Some of them that even trek, their legs shriveled. And they almost died. How can you trek for somebody that's not even let's assume you want to do something for something somebody person will show you light tinibu has not shown lights now we are in, in tinibu situation now what tinibu is doing to nigeria is low current i don't know whether you experience the low current and where the electric bulb looks like the rope more on it i've experienced it before i know how painful it is you put like three stabilizers just to power your tv that's the situation tinibu uh, administration is in now in nigeria it's low current it can't even power anything. Any, it can't even power fridge. Nothing. So now people coming to tell you that uh, Tinibu is uh, trekking for Tinibu. Anybody that does that is mentally insane, mentally deranged. Whether he's an educated person or he's not an educated uh, person, you don't know that. Some educated pe people are mentally insane. You don't know that. They are. When we talk in Nigeria, we say they are colo mental. Cause there's no logic behind this whole thing. You say you want to trek from uh, Ondo to uh, Abuja just to go and see the president. For what? For what? And that name doesn't even sound like a Yoruba name. It sounds like somebody from Middle Belt. Abel Tado. I've never heard of that name before. You understand? So you see the cop, the soldier that accosted him. That's the face of the soldier. You see, you see the eyes. That was just moments before they took his phone. <laughs> and if my my mind is correct. You understand or if my guess is correct he's an apc supporter and one of the reasons why you know sometimes this channel these days i don't have views and it's not encouraging but one of the things that always motivates me to do videos most times and when i go to facebook or social media and i see these people still reinforcing this madness of apc there are plenty of, and they will still be telling you that apc is doing well even tinibu using efcc now to arrest former governors and the rest because he, he just did it about more than 10 governors and people that stole Nigeria money. Tinibu wants to go after them. You understand? But I know not, all of us will know nothing will come out of it. So they are already praising it. The same thing that happened in Buhari. Buhari even jailed people and let her release them. Eh? Is that the kind of country you think would be good? The reason why people misbehave in Nigeria is because they know they will rig elections and nothing, you know, and when they rig it, you don't expect somebody that rig the election to do well. And secondly, the reason why people misbehave is because they know there is no justice. If the people go to jail for stealing, you see people will have lower tendency to commit all these crimes of stealing. You understand? Or if people are sacked for non-performance, you see people will double up 
Just like the Nigeria airport, every time people collect bribes since we were born. And nothing is happening. If I'm president, by the time you ta- sack the first person in, he- in charge of the airport, Lagos airport there, sack the second one, sack the third one, the next people come in there, nobody will collect bribe because it's from the CEO. When we did the entrepreneurship in university, they told us that the CEO is responsible for all crimes. You understand? That's why we bring Bo- uh, Tinibu. It's not like Tinibu is in charge of everything. You understand? He has ministers and everybody, everybody misbehaving. But anything that is going wrong in the country, you will blame him. You will not come and blame my father. My father is not the president. It's the person that says he wants to be CEO that you will blame. It's not to be, you don't blame Obi, except you're mentally in, insane. I see some people even attacking Obi today. And if you, I, I don't know, anybody still attacking Obi, blaming Obi for anything. I see the person as, as a mentally disrupted, disrupted person. So for me, they're supposed to, they're supposed to even. Ar- I'm sorry to say, you understand, I like rule of law, but this guy now, they're supposed to just keep him in a facility and feed him balanced meal, three square meals, because I see that he's lacking some nutrients in the brain. As a copper, you're tra- not like you're doing it because you're comfortable. This one, go and see his cap. Just see the, the, video, the picture of his cap. That's where you know that this boy, he said it's not correct. They should have kept him. In fact, just reading the news is so funny. When I saw it, I was like, there's nothing you will not tell me that this boy is not mentally mentally today, this youth copper. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you make of this story? I can't show the live stream. Oh. I would I wanted to download it, but I'm afraid the boy might because I'm abusing him. He might send YouTube now, they will deem me copyrights. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.